right, so once we're done with production and setting up and rendering our cameras, we can move into interactive. And in order to do that, we need to add blueprint for uh, level blueprint. Okay, so we're gonna click on the content pack and going to select first person. We're gonna get this first person shooter. If you go and watch the next videos following that, you can see how I'm using this particular template in order to create my scene. So in the update, we started actually from scratch. And now we don't really have a first person walking camera there. So in order to do that, we need to click on the first person shooter, click add to project. And voila, this blueprint was added. Okay, first blueprint first person blueprint now if we go into blueprints here we can find our first first person character so we can drag and drop it here and let me move that I'm going to exit my cameras and let's bring this a little higher. So this will be our first person walk here. So let's see how this works. If we click play, voila we can move of course we need to delete those guys because we don't really need them and i haven't done any collisions here Ooh, and we fall so uh let's adjust those here we're gonna edit first person character and here we have the scripts so construction script Let's delete that. Get player view, event graph. So here we have spawn. So this guy gotta go. And let's click play, see if it's good. Okay, yeah, we didn't delete the, we delete those guys too, and that weapon. Let's click compile. Everything compiled properly. That's a good sign. Okay, now we can save that. And let's click. Okay, so now no hands, no nothing, and we walk inside our space. Now it's time to do the collisions. If you guys remember, if you don't know, you can scroll and watch uh, the next videos, how we do the collisions, but I'm gonna show you here really quickly. So you select this collision and you can say add box simplified so we need to save that now let's do same thing on this wall what we need to do is let's see collision show simple collision now add box simplified and if i go to top view now i need to take this and adjust it manually according to the thickness 
of my walls. Okay, I have detailed video about how I'm doing the entire space here in the next tutorial so you can scroll down and watch them. Now I'm going to press Alt and drag to the side. And what I want to do actually is match these guys, the walls, exactly the structure of a wall that I have here. Okay, so I'm going to match it here. Alt, drag it down, duplicate. Let's put one here. Now I'm gonna drag Alt to the side, rotate this 90 degrees, and here we can also add and scale this to match our corner walls. Okay. And again, drag with Alt, put this up, and then drag with Alt, put this one here. Okay. Now we're going to save that. And if we click play, Let's see, oh, we're hitting the walls, cannot go outside, oh, through the window. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the next, uh, all of those collisions and come back when this whole thing is ready. You can watch my tutorial, how I'm doing uh, the walking speed and the stairs so we can go up. You can scroll down and watch complete breakdown on how I'm doing the entire loft for those collisions and I'm doing the stairs and how we can go up and slow down the speed a little bit of our first person. So watch those videos if you don't know how to do it and we come back with this fully interactive mode so we can walk inside our space.